Yeah, uh, you know, I was pretty good most of that out there. Uh, you know, left a few pitches uh, up, you know, slider up to Contreras. So he kind of hooks down the line right there. Uh, that one's going to bother me. Uh, but uh, other than that one pitch, I thought I did a pretty good job. The leadoff walk there in the fourth, that kind of nag at you too? Yeah, you know, anytime I walk a guy, that's frustrating. Uh, you know, leadoff walks will haunt you. So, uh, you know, that one kind of came around to bite me in the in the back end. So that's a, that's another one that will bother me. Schultz said that in hindsight he might have left you in for another inning. Did you feel like you could have gone an inning or two or two more? Uh, you know, with the, you know, I was working pretty quick with the low pitch counts, so, you know, I probably had more in the tank, but, you know, we got we got guys on base and, you know, trying to take the lead right there. So I think, you know, that's a good play, trying to get some runs on the board. And, uh, you know, if I don't give up those two runs in the fourth, it's a different ball game. That's why, uh, you know, that's why I'm, I'm probably going to be upset tonight because, uh, you know, I feel like I kind of, you know, I let them back in the game. You know, they changed the momentum, and I feel like this one's on me. Can you describe what the last week has been like for you? It's It's been different. Uh, you know, it's been a little bit of a, uh, of a roller coaster ride. Uh, just, you know, I was in D.C. for about 12 hours, and then uh, getting to go home and, and see my family was great, uh, you know, and uh, be my my new daughter, my new son, so, so that was really nice. They're doing well. Are they in the hospital? Yeah, yeah, um, you know, they'll, they'll be in the hospital for, for a good bit. You know, they were they were early, but they're doing they're doing really well for how early they were. You know, they're strong. They're, uh, you know, they're fighters just like their mom, so they're, they're going to hang tough for sure. Your wife as well. She's at home. She's doing well. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she's back at home recovering. She's she's doing well. You know, she's already up, probably trying to do too much. Uh, you know, that's just how she is. You know, you can't can't hold her down for a second. So, you know, uh, you know, one of the reasons that I love her so much. And uh, you know, er everyone's going to be good. We got a lot of friends and family back home uh, supporting us, and er everybody's going to be okay. When did you get the call? Had you landed in D.C. and you found out you needed to fly? Um, well, I knew she was, you know, she had been in the hospital uh, for a couple days. And then um, that morning, I actually, uh, for some reason, my phone was, like, still on silent. I didn't quite hear the hear the phone call. So they ended up getting a hold of my agent who got a hold of the hotel. So I woke up to the hotel banging on my door, uh, telling me my wife was in labor and I got to gotta get out of there. So it was a, it was a bit of a, you know, of a, of a rush in the morning. But I got on my flight and got home as fast as I could. How quickly did you leave the hotel? Yeah. Uh, I was out of the hotel, I think I found out at 8, and I was on a flight at 9.30. So, you know, pack up, ship out, and then uh, straight from the airport to the hospital. Did you end up seeing anything?